How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video and it looks like the sunshines and rainbows aren't as sunshine and rainbow over at Camp PlayStation because, you know, those 61 million console sales and we buy our games doesn't really account to much when you don't buy your games, whether it's physical or digital, when you're not buying your games but you preach that you do, all it shows is that you're playing X, you're playing social media, and you're not playing anything else. Because uh, clearly, whether we're looking at the revenue for console hardware, whether we're looking at the revenue when it comes to, you know, physical sales, digital sales, it ain't looking good for Sony. And despite the fact that everyone was pandering on about Xbox's year-on-year -year deficit for their console hardware, well... At least their services and stuff were way up. Their consoles, you know, their software sales were way up. I don't care if people are going to say, oh, but that's because of ABK. I don't care. You've got one of the best studios in the world with Insomniac. I don't care. The reality is they are now owned by Microsoft. ABK is owned by Microsoft. It is part of Xbox. And uh, all revenue that comes from ABK and ZeniMax and that's the thing, right? You never see them complaining about ZeniMax because they're not breaking the bank. Only the one that's breaking the bank do they ever complain about. But hey, what can I say? It is a, it is a thing. But the, we did say the financials are coming out today, and boy, did they come out, and boy, does it not look good for Sony. But we all know that the year for, you know, this year was pretty low for Sony especially with no first-party games. They do have some exclusive games, sure, for third-party, but no one's rushing out to buy them, and clearly those that are crying and saying that we buy our games physical or nothing, they're not even buying games, they're just saying it for the sake of saying it so they can get some internet clout, but that is the pony way, I'm afraid. You know, there is no two ways about it. it, 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 it it's all neighing, but no buying. And then they turn around to Xbox community and say, we buy our games, we don't rent games. But they don't buy the games either. So if they're not renting the games and they're not buying the games, well, what are they actually playing? I mean, there is a lot of free-to-play stuff, I get that. I guess they're playing Pornhub. That was really popular last year on their browser. Um, the stable porn could be a bit weird, right? I'm just... I'm trying to get that image out of my head, and I'm sorry if I put that image into your head, but seeing the stables, you know, all that sausage fest, it probably isn't what you want to have as a mental image in your head right now. I do apologize for that. But um, outside of that, what are they playing? Because uh, they're not buying. <laughs> I don't know, right? I don't know. But you know what? I'm playing, and I'm eating good. Whether it's Final Fantasy XIV, whether it's uh, Dungeons of Hinterberg, bit of Diablo, some Halo, bit of Forza Horizon, Starfield. I'm playing, and I'm having a good time. But that's what it's all about. But they wanted to go down the we buy our games, and we are going to have the best revenue score ever. So... Let's have a look and see just how good that revenue is. Let's uh, turn this off so we can see a bit of a clearer picture. Because we want to get the full context of this. But before we do, let's just go up and see. This is a quick breakdown. 60 million consoles sold, or six, I should have said 60 million plus. And they buy all their games. And the reality is PC and Microsoft, Microsoft, is keeping PlayStation afloat. Their console alone is not enough. Their hardware revenue is down 27%. Their physical revenue is down 18%. So clearly not everyone's buying games. Their digital sales have gone down by 8%. Their console units sold have gone down by 27%. PC sales, pretty much as we're going to see in a minute, alongside Sony ripping their customers off with their price hike with, play, 
with PS Plus with zero benefit, might I add. I mean, we've seen a almost 500% increase in some countries with zero benefit. And people are going to come, have already started to come at me for £2. They are comparing a 500% price hike to £2. Right? And even if you did, they decide to go with the console not being available, which, if you're a new customer, well, it shouldn't really matter because it, it's never been available to you, right? But let's just play devil's advocate here. That's 100%, not 500%. So there's a big difference there, right? There's a big difference. Uh, they've recorded with PC 116 million MAUs, whereas Xbox has recorded over 500 million MAUs in comparison. That's 500 million ready for the right to take on that microtransactions, whereas there's 116 million. So it turns out that Fortnite, Call of Duty, Overwatch, Diablo, Sea of Thieves, Pentiment, and Roblox, alongside PC, is actually saving PlayStation, not their exclusives. So what have their exclusives been doing all this time? They've been badgering on about their banger exclusives and all this and all that, but if they're not making any money, what is Sony doing with them? Oh, they're making console sales and no one's buying games. So, what's going on? All I'm going to say is it's a good thing that Microsoft is playing nice. Because if they weren't, <laughs> things could be a lot worse for Sony. But as we can see here, you know... They've had a 22% reduction in their overall revenue for hardware, which is pretty, you know, that's one-fifth. Uh, they've almost had one-fifth drop in physical sales, uh, one-tenth drop in digital sales. I mean, their add-on content is pretty much doing really well at 38%. You can see that V-Bucks and Call of Duty money is coming straight to Microsoft. Oh, yeah. It must, it must really pain them that every time that they're paying for all those Call of Duty battle passes and Diablo battle passes, Overwatch stuff, that 30% of that is going straight. Or 70%, I guess, is going straight to uh, Microsoft. Gotta love it. Uh, then you've got other software, which is basically PC, and that's increased by 100%. So clearly, PC is uh, the front driver here, right? PC is definitely the front driver. And you can clearly see here, after they decided that they're going to increase their prices for PS Plus by up to 500%, they've seen a 27% increase in revenue. I mean, sure, if you're increasing it by that much, where was the outcry, I might add? Because I didn't see shit for that. Uh, segment total sales has basically gone up by 11%. Uh PlayStation 5 hardware has gone down by 27%. Full game software, PS4, PS5 first party, uh, has gone down. First party titles. <laughs> oh, oh. It's almost as bad as uh, quarter one and quarter two. But the difference between uh, last year and this year is that there's going to be no quarter three or four to save them. Uh, full game digital download ratio. I guess their digital software has gone up because people aren't buying physicals anymore. But as you can see down here, uh, MAUs have gone up. PC, quarter one, Helldivers clearly driving that on PC. I mean, Helldivers 2 was clearly a PC game anyway. So there's no uh, real surprise there. But the real takeaway from this is that they are down in almost every metric. Whether it's overall hardware revenue, physical sales, digital sales. I mean, this is a this is a group of people that say we buy our games and we don't, you know, we don't want to rent anything, but they're not buying their games. They're not. And for all intents and purposes, for all the crying and all the stuff that they said about Stella Blade, which I will not say is, you know, a bad amount of sales, a million sales for a studio like Shift Up. Their first game is still pretty good, but I did expect around 3 million at the minimum for that. 
But even games like Final Fantasy uh, 16, 7 Rebirth, selling around 2-3 million each, uh, it's a, it's not a lot. Those games are gargantuan and should have actually had way more. And Square Enix has publicly come out and said that these games just haven't performed to our high expectations. They met their low expectations, sure, but they had higher expectations and uh, clearly no one has been purchasing them. And it's a, it's a bit of a sad case here. So for all that crying and all that laughing that they did, they really should have waited just a little longer to see whether or not their backyard was secure enough. And it clearly wasn't. And as you can see from here, you know, just these figures alone. Console units are down. Digital sales are down. Physical sales are down. Hardware is down. And the only thing that's really up is DLC because that is funded by Call of Duty, Overwatch, Diablo, Sea of Thieves, Pentiment, Roblox, Fortnite. Because ain't no one spending any money in Concord. You know, outside of the diehard people, ain't no one spending money in that. I don't know. You let me know, folks. We're going to be discussing this on Thursday. But God damn. That is not a good look. And don't forget, Sony has just... I'm not, I mean, I'm not even going to count Concord anymore. Uh, they have one uh, first-party game, Astro Bot, coming out in quarter four. Do you genuinely believe that that's going to make that big of a bump for them? Do you really think it is? Because... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. But hey, maybe the announcement that uh, Star Wars... I think it's Jedi Walker or something coming to Xbox One and PS4 consoles, that might just finally give them the boost that they need. Because clearly their first party just, they're, well, it's non-existent, right? So, <laughs> but hey, worst case scenario, I guess they always can rely on Concord. Because uh, clearly that game is going to win Game of the Year. Without a shadow of doubt. Jeff Keighley will push that to the forefront and make sure it does win. But hey, we're all here to be surprised, right? I'm still rooting for Pac-Man. That's it. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date with all content I release, and I will see you in the next one. As always, stay safe.